Hey there, boaters. I'm Captain Stacey Hanrahan, and this is The Boaters TV. Coming up in Just for the Hall of It, the stories behind sea superstitions in this week's Mad Mariner Report. I've always been very superstitious, so it's fitting I became a boat captain. For centuries, sailors have been very careful not to upset the sea, and they've come up with various traditions in attempt to court her favor. Today, Mad Mariner's Carrie Pugh looks into the history of some of the most famous now, every mariner knows to never bring bananas aboard. It may sound silly, but this one has a perfectly reasonable explanation. Back in the day, wooden ships with rowing slaves would transport bananas from the tropics to less exotic locales. But with the bananas came aboard bugs, spiders, even snakes. And with the creepy crawlies came diseases for the crew. So bananas, and in some cases, all fruit, were banned. Another tradition, never departing on a Friday, has an urban legend behind it. The story goes that the British government attempted to disprove the myth that departing on a Friday brings bad luck. So they laid the keel of a new vessel on a Friday, launched her on a Friday, named her HMS Friday, hired a captain Friday, and sent her to sea on Friday. And the ship was never heard from again. <laughs> the story isn't true, but the tradition persists. Early ships often had figureheads, such as naked women carved into the bow. Crewmen believed the eyes of the figurehead could see through fog and the dark. Well, this tradition also has a story behind it. A captain once bought his wife two beautiful emeralds, but she didn't like them, so he put them in the eyes of the ship's female figurehead. The wife changed her mind and stole the emeralds. Her husband set sail, and the ship sank. So the wife cried for days, fell asleep, and woke up forever blind. Which brings us to the belief that women aboard are bad luck. Unless, of course, they're naked and wooden. For more on sea superstitions, read Carrie's entire article at www.madmariner.com. Up next, Sport Fishing Magazine's Dr. Bob Ship is giving us the fish facts on Jax. Jacks are swift schooling fishes that may travel over open water, but most often forage over structure, such as coral reefs or wrecks. I think as a family, the jacks are as fighting a gang of fishes as there is. Even the smaller species, like pompanos or blue runners, will give it their all on light tackle. And the larger species, like amber jacks and gravel jacks, will wear out the most well-conditioned angler in short order. There are well more than 100 species of jacks found around the world in tropical and warm temperate seas. But everywhere they occur, they're always treasured as great game fish. Strangely, though their habits are generally the same, that is, as top predators, they vary greatly in their quality as food fish. There is no more prized food fish than the pompano with its rich white meat. On the other hand, the bloody red flesh of the creval jack is held in the lowest esteem. Even so, in the Indian Ocean and South Pacific, jacks are considered one of the most important food fish families. However, a few of the larger species, such as amber jacks, may occasionally cause ciguatera poisoning when eaten, although it is much more prevalent in the barracudas. Most jacks spawn well offshore, and the juveniles often display patterns of bars or spots quite unlike the adults. This is most likely to help camouflage them as they seek shelter in sargassum mats or other floating habitats. Some even seek shelter amongst the stinging tentacles of jellyfish, which they somehow avoid. For Sport Fishing Magazine TV, I'm Dr. Bob Shipp. Thanks to Sport Fishing TV for that report. For more fish facts, go to www.sportfishingmag.com. Now it's time to answer yesterday's Rules of the Road question. The question was, both international and inland, a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver is one which A, through some exceptional circumstance, is unable to maneuver as required by the rules, B, from the nature of her work, is unable to maneuver as required by the rules, C, due to adverse weather conditions, is unable to maneuver as required by the rules, or D, has lost steering and is unable to maneuver. And the answer is B from the nature of her work is unable to maneuver as required by the rules. 
They're called rams for short. A ram is always a vessel doing some type of work, cable and pipe laying, underwater or dredging operations, launching an aircraft, mine sweeping, just to name a few. In just a moment, we'll have today's Rules of the Road question for you. Tune in tomorrow for the answer. For TBTV, I'm Captain Stacy, and remember, the tide always changes.